So it's uh, spring, September, and it's been pretty dry. Um, I'm in Bellingen, and I've just come across Plutus Petersatus, which is uh, growing along a creek line on the bank. There's a lot of wood chip, and most likely buried uh, wood, which is what Plutus usually grows from. Um, <coughs> you can see them all along here. These ones are still quite fresh. Um, let's have a look. The gills are quite pale when young. Um, later they become more of a rusty pinky colour. Uh, there's no ring on the stem and the stem is striated like little markings all over it um, definitely you know more visible with the camera um, they can be a lot bigger than the one I'm holding here and that can be dependent on uh, the food source of nutrient they've got um, and rain and it's been dry uh, quite a dry winter here so I thought it was quite unusual to come across these guys um, these are older ones and you can see they're a lot bigger um, growing in amongst the grass here. I've had them come up in veggie gardens before where we've had buried acacia logs. Um, see if I can find some that have got the gill colouring changing like this one. Starting to get a bit more pinky. Um, not a lot of flesh in them. The gills are reasonably wide. Uh, just looking around and trying to find a more mature Plutus um, where the gills are changing colour and you can see a little bit of um, yeah so I moved a mushroom and I can see now where the spores dropped on another cap um, yeah, and it's a pinky rusty colour, which um, is a good identification feature for Plutus.